Hello everyone, I am James. This is Georgia. We're going to attack Poland for their cores. Highly full Hilna's cores, that is, not Poland's cores. We'll do it for that province. Actually, you know what? We'll do it. There's a fort there, so we'll do it for Zidomir. They should be able to grab that. I'm going to move my troops into Hungary and try to take them out. Try and grab, get them out of the war. France? I could call in France. I don't think they're going to be much of a help, but you know what? I have close to 50 favors with them, so... And I have... 66 favors with Muscovy, so my only thing with Muscovy is they might claim the territory that I want, which is also another reason why I'm doing Zidomir, because then that'll block them off from claiming that, and then they, we can at least grab all of this. Should be able to. Alright, call them in. You grab that. Looks like I can't get to their territory. Don't imagine they would almost let me through. I guess we have no choice but to capture these forts and move through down here. They do outnumber me. I have 30,000 troops. They have, at the start of the war, 40,000. And they are right next to each other. But I have a uh, tech advantage, so... France's force limit is 115, and they have 21,000 troops. Wow. Yeah, France has 1,700 development. We have 1,631. China has 6,118, if you were wondering. And then the other ones, Vijaya Nagara, Bengal, Bengal, Castile, England, Jean Poor. England has almost conquered all of Ireland. Which I only say that because I just finished up an Ireland campaign, so. Ireland was not so lucky this time. Actually, I meant to look at the quality comparison. Poland negative or negative. Uh, Poland is ninety nine percent. Hungary is a hundred and seven percent. They heavily restricted looting. They have almost no morale. I we kind of ah we're kind of forced to heavily restrict looting in turn. You just totally ignored my orders. All right, now you're doing my orders. Baghdad is now considered part of our patrimony. Welcome to the fold, Baghdad. I can develop you now. But I won't. Psych. Something about Persian people. Uh, lose five prestige, gain an advisor. 
or we'll take that. Alright, they claim that for themselves. Nice. So I'm expecting... France probably can't even get over here. But I figured I'd call them in just because they have a bunch of troops, so it'll, it'll slant the troop totals, which the AI cares about. So they might not actually do anything, but they'll make our side look stronger, which will intimidate the Polish side. Just go ahead and grab all of this stuff. It's yours. There's some Hungarians going into Musk. They always go. They always target Muscovy. Oh, there's a lot more troops. Oh, okay, that's where the Polish are too. All right, I'm gonna take this fort and then try to move down into Budapest and see if that's enough to get these guys to peace out. Looks like Muscovy's losing territory to the White Horde. Classic Muscovy. Oh no, they're coming. Okay. So we just have to hold out until those French troops come over here and start sieging down Hungary. There are some Sunni fanatics, but I think we should be fine. They claimed this province for themselves, which I figured they were going to do, but they can't even grab it. Classic Muscovy. You lose provinces to the White Horde, and then you claim provinces you can't even take. That's Russia for you. What is this? Construction cost, national tax modifier, infantry cav, artillery cost, heavy ship cost. Ah, we can't build heavy ships anyway. So who really loses? Uh, light ship galley transport cost, everything plus five. I think Muscovy is going to uh, quit this war relatively quickly. Faster than usual. It's pretty much the only reason I called them in. They're pretty much just a giant punching bag. They uh, occupy the enemy's forces, their attention for a little bit of time. Hungary might not even peace out even if we take Pest, which is unfortunate. So we're going to have to rely on these guys taking territory. Ooh, a coalition is forming. It's alright, they're not going to attack me. My alliance, this side, 
has what is that uh, close to 200,000 troops granted that's at war but they're not going to attack me we grabbed pest I'm not going to loot it that much. Just a little bit. Alright, they still don't want to peace out, so... This province is worth 32 development. We'll go up here and try and grab this. Pretty much, I just have to get Hungary to peace out before Muscovy pieces out. Yeah, you guys can try. I don't think I want territory from any of those people. I think just Hazaraspid. I think I want a couple provinces from them. Go ahead and do claims. One claim. Is this a core? It is a core. Okay. We'll uh, transfer that to them. Hungary. I'm not sure it's worth taking ducats since I have two allies. Well, a lot of the ducats will just go to them. Alright, Hungary will peace out. Like, if you have us 1,400 ducats, we would get 298 of that. So... That is not... Ducats are not worthwhile at all. War reps. I'll stay in for a little bit longer. Try to get war reps. If Muscovy pieces out, I'll try and piece out Hungary. I think we should be good until then. I'm going to split our forces. Half here, half here. One person can take that. Built some ships. There are some Sunni fanatics, so I do have to watch that. As long as they don't grab a fort, it's fine. Alright, they will give war reps. How many ducats? Sure. I only get 54 of those, but... Uh... That's fine. In army career, greater nobles gain 5 loyalty, burgers lose 5 loyalty, we get 10 army tradition. It's a lot harder to raise the greater nobles loyalty than uh, burger loyalty, so... Well, it's not harder, but uh, costs more ducats to raise greater nobles. Loyalty, plus we get that 10 army tradition. 
So we'll go ahead and do that. Looks like Muscovy is going to fight Poland. Looks like they're going to probably lose. We lost some control on the Bosphorus trade. Did we, though? Did we really? What is the game smoking? Damn it, we have to walk all the way over here. If we have to walk all the way over here, I might as well just go take out those Sunni rebels. Yeah, Muscovy's gonna lose this. And probably peace out. We can keep these provinces. I should get them through war dynamism. Yeah, this is 90%. Unfortunately, it's halfway across the world. It's going to take a long time to walk my troops down there. But France and all those guys are over here. If Muscovy stays in, we should be good. None of the uh, provinces over here are particularly great provinces, so... And it looks like they're they're focusing on getting Muscovy out of the war. Could always harsh treatment these guys. Um... I might actually do that. If it ticks up to 95%, I'll probably just harsh treatment them. We've taken their capital. So I think once we take the war goal... Should be a chunk of war score. And if Muscovy actually pieces out, that would be good for us. Because they're dragging us down. They're actually not dragging us down. I think they're dragging us down by a point. All of the territory that they've occupied is worth nothing to us. We're like, yeah, you took it, but who cares? Looks like their allies want peace. What are they offering? Ducats and war ups. Ducats and war ups. Um, sure. Actually, no, 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 no. I can get prestige. I gain one prestige. You know what? Fine, whatever. Saves me having to send a diplomat.
All right, we'll grab this Muscovy. Just peace out, Muscovy. You did your job. You were the punching bag. Only one of my provinces have been occupied. 97 of yours have been. Moscow is wide open. Do you want to take this 12k stack up there to Moscow? Look at all that wealth in Moscow. What is this? A disaster. Our unrest is above one. Alright, Poland, do you want to just return these cores? Wait, I don't care about that. That's a Kivian core. Don't care about Lithuania. Then again, I like the idea of weakening Poland. You know what, Kiev? Then again, I might want that province myself, so no dice, Kiev. I'm not going to take anything. I'll just have them return all of their cores. That's fine. I got to go. Poland has an heir. I'll pick these guys up over there. I think I should have enough time to walk over there without having to suppress them or whatever. Looks like everything, all of the Mamluks is being, uh, it's all defecting to Simeon, so I should probably try and vassalize them quickly before they get all this territory. Let's bring those guys over there. Just have to get to 190. We'll start improving relations. Those guys can walk down there. Alright, I'm going to end this part here. I'm going to try to vassalize Simeon and... Uh, let our unrest tick down so that we can not have this internal conflicts and then go from there. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.